Bolt Bayless here. I just wanted to say thank you to uh, everyone who sent me um, a kind note uh, or an email um, based on the uh, Jiu Jitsu series that I uh, released a while ago. Um, the truth is, the older I get, the uh, less I have to say. Um, I do a lot more. Uh, I do a lot more, uh, you know, uh, questioning than uh, than speaking. Um, mostly because I like to explore, but I've, I've been getting um, a ton of uh, emails and, and uh, personal messages about, um, well, I, I guess uh, true strength and also people confused about competition um, and maybe not even formal competition, maybe just that yucky feeling that you get after a while. Um, you've been training long enough. I'm talking about anybody that's been training jiu-jitsu for, you know, 30 years, 20 years, something like that, you, you, you start to realize it's not just because you're getting older. You, you're, you're actually um, finding yourself a little exhausted uh, with the thought of having to beat somebody else. Uh, you know, the old masters knew this, always trying to, uh, you know, it, you, well, people measuring their jiu-jitsu by how much, uh, how often, how many people can they submit, how easily. And uh, it's a terrible way to uh, gauge yourself because uh, your partner every single time is going to be your own personal rectal thermometer. So nobody wants to be that. And they can sense it too. Um, good old fashioned competition starts to seem silly you know, because it is, but you can't, you can't tell people that if they're, uh, if they're not ready, if, you know, you have to, you have to be young, you have to do dumb things for a while and you have to put your, uh, you know, heart in the wrong place. To figure out what matters, but the old masters, and uh, there's an old master in every one of us too. If you train long enough, he comes out. They knew that we would arrive at this place eventually. You wouldn't want to be uh, worrying ever again about whether or not you're cool, uh, whether or not you're tough, who you can beat, who you can't beat, how much you can lift. Good God, what a pain in the ass! It's a nightmare. I remember uh, it was probably about three months ago. Um, my sweetheart and I were hanging out in, uh, I think it was Mimi's or something like that, having some lunch. And I looked across the way and saw this dude. Um, he must've been about 55 or so. He was in good shape for his age. You know, he wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't uh, you know, popping with uh, hormones or anything, but he was a nice, healthy guy. It looks like he took care of himself, but he also looked 55, you know, so whatever that means. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's with this other girl that he probably, you know, considered, you know, a real find. She was, uh, this lady was maybe, I don't know, mid-40s, something like that. And uh, she was trying to be uh, a MILF. And, I mean, she was dressed like she was 17. And anyway, he was already insecure having this lady run around. He didn't know how to control uh, the situation. He wasn't sure if he was if he was good looking enough. And I remember, sure enough, in the waiting area, these guys that are like mid-30s, all right, <laughs> they come over. And this lady starts shamelessly flirting with him. Oh, it's disgusting. And, and the guy, I looked over at him. Of course, he's not very happy. But the first thing he did was go suck his stomach in real hard. In other words, you know, he just he just totally wrenched himself into some terrible piece of physiology so that he would feel like um, maybe that would give him a couple more points on the attractiveness scale. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help. Plus, you're, if you have to, you know, beat away those 35 year olds, which by the way, they're doing them a favor. Um, then you wouldn't want to have your gut sucked in anyway, would you? So when you start worrying about how you're, you know, um, when you start judging who you are, uh, by comparing yourself to other people, it's a really miserable process. Um, because we're all weak and powerful in our own little areas. Um, you know, it's, and, and, and it is funny as you get older, you start to see, that, the, you know, the latest guy raising a belt over his head or whatever, um, he's going to be yesterday's news, uh, you know, before you know it. And, and you're happy for him and you kind of feel bad for him at the same time because you're going to wake up and realize that beating another human being in a random event with a random set of rules uh, on a given day, uh, one time in eternity is like being the world's fastest snail. It, it just doesn't mean anything at all. And w w when you embrace that, it doesn't mean there's nothing to uh, strive for. It's just that maybe you start picking better landmarks than other people. Um, 
because you know you might be stronger than a three-year-old you could beat him in arm wrestling you know push him around a little bit <laughs> but when when you're an old old man or old woman that will probably be the strong young body that's taking care of you um, in your last days so since strength and power and placement over others um, is so capricious embracing the meaninglessness of it is one of the most magical and master-like things you can do right out of the gate. If you've had enough of the other and you're feeling this strange ache in your chest like man I, if, if this is how training is I, I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, well you, you're, you're waking up. Part of you is waking up and the rest will come after it if you accept this. But um, you know you also get a little closer to what true jujitsu really is. And what I mean by that is once you've learned to surrender to the eventualities of life and um, the reality of your mortal limitations, once you've surrendered to that, you're in this cool little vibration, the sweet zone. And, 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 and it's, it's actually identical to the um, um, benevolence zone. If you, if you wish uh, someone else well, or maybe you're actively participating in, in, in someone else's betterment. That's the same vibration, and that's a beautiful thing, right? That's the same vibration as letting go. It's really weird. I guess because you're not holding on to yourself, you're, you're working out here on something or someone else trying to help them. Or, and then you've got the real spirit of jujitsu in you because when people say, hey, uh, jujitsu, isn't that that uh, martial art where uh, um, you use their power against them or say, you know, they don't know what they're talking about? And uh, the martial artist always kind of chuckles and goes, yeah, yeah, that's it. But in his mind, right, especially a, a younger uh, you know, tougher guy maybe thinks that, uh, nah, it's not like that at all. You really got to kick ass. You, know, you got to take a lot of crap and you got to give it to him. And that's, and that's advanced wrestling with locks. Real jujitsu actually does flow with the other person. Uh, so much so they may even lose interest in, the, in combat in the first place. And it's something you practice all the time if you're a decent person, which is why those are my favorite. And now the only people that I choose to train. Um, because you will see them definitely... Um, well, use a form of jujitsu uh, when there becomes a, a you know, heated altercation. It, it, you know, the older, more seasoned cops that I have, uh, that I train, know this you know, better than anybody. If you get into a hot place and you start yelling back and forth with somebody, it's only going to escalate. And that beautiful flow of just being gentle, like I said, which is also uh, in the same vibration as letting go, because you let go. When somebody calls you an asshole, you know, you kind of smile at them and say, you know, well, you're probably right. I mean, you know, I certainly can be, but uh, I, I, I'm only here to help you now. And so, boy, that'll, uh, that, that spirit in general, you pick your own verbiage, but on the mat, you're supposed to flow that way physically as well. It's supposed to be the deepest uh, form of meditation, uh, you know, in jujitsu, the gentle art, or as you get uh, towards mastery, uh, the art of being gentle. And it echoes everywhere and everything that you do. So when you're training in, in life, um, just by letting something go, by being kind, by flowing, you are already practicing that energy and you are improving your jujitsu far more than you ever would rocking and rolling and kicking ass and getting beat up on the mat. Um, so if you're thinking about maybe slowing down, training more gently, um, it's never too soon to do that. And it's never too soon to let go of the silliness of being better than other people or even having to think about stuff like that. Uh, it's very, very frustrating. Um, and it's possible to train and love your jiu-jitsu and improve uh, astronomically without ever having to uh, exceed the amount of resistance that you'd like to feel. And um, truthfully, at, at the highest levels, I don't think you have to roll on the mat anymore at all. Um, you've got plenty of other things in this life that uh, require you to flow and mesh and merge and uh, sidestep and, and throw um, without having some crazy guy run, you know, run at you from across the mat. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that uh, something meaningful was in there. Um, thank you again for, for your emails and uh, for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh,